Hello everyone, my name is Terry Prism and welcome back uh, to Stories The Path of Destinies. Last episode we finished up uh, once more one storyline, so the let's just uh, continue over the ahead. Isles of Boreas. It was time to choose. The rebellion was in trouble. I'm uh, thinking of uh, going after uh, Latino once again, but uh, choosing a different a route uh, straight Pieces away. Pieces of the Sky Ripper had surfaced, or so a scholar in the mountains had told him. Surely the weapon that banished mm. the lost gods could defeat the Emperor. There is also something uh, also, found about that a one. A temple had risen out of empty desert. The and apparently stone from was here hidden too. there. That it was I a dangerous haven't yet been discovered. It could corrupt its user into a bloodthirsty monster. Maybe he could find a way to use it. To take its power without surrendering to its wickedness. On the other hand, his old friend Lepino needed rescuing. Well, Lepino everyone had, changer, seems to have something for us. Could Leonardo really us? leave an old friend to the ravens? Yeah, let's uh, head out uh, and uh, get the uh, Lepino. You can't make new old friends. The rebellion was out of time, and Reynardo needed a game changer. Even though Lapino wasn't what anyone could, would consider a game changer, he could come up uh, with some hairbrained scenes. Maybe rescuing him uh, was worth it. Ah, Lapino. Apparently, the mad rabbit had sold a Pegasus that he did not exactly own. Lapino always wiggled out of trouble, given time. But he was out of time. <laughs> the Ravens had figured out that Lapino was a rebel spy. If the fleet reached him first, they'd string him up for that. Never mind the winged horse. Lapino had apparently managed to confuse the judge by arguing that he hadn't actually stolen a winged horse. He'd only sold it. But wait, where was the prison? The village was empty. Had Rapid had season. everybody fled the ravens? Mm. Oh. There are some uh, end center here. Oh, there's one. I love this uh, time skip. Not time skip, but time stop here. Down you go. That was odd. <laughs> Renato had been here, at this exact place, at this exact time. But this time, there were so many more ravens. And uh, starting from completely different uh, place than last time, too. Hmm. Anything in here? Doesn't look like it. Oh! Renato thought of the Iblis Stone and shivered. Those weren't here before. He had no business messing with ancient, cruel artifacts. What he needed was his friends around him. Clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose. Sounds just about right. Now I'm uh, kind of lost here. Once, he found a Superman issue number one in mint condition in a jar he'd broken. <laughs> he planned to keep breaking things until he had the whole series. That uh, could be quite rare uh, find. Let's open this one here. Ooh, plenty of ores. Can I... I actually can make something. Oh, right, I got some new games. Going to keep uh, the, the seal breaker, but maybe I switch up... Uh, yeah, let's uh, take energy on kill. And we can finally open this one here. What's behind door number two? We're about to find out. Some lever, but what will it do? 
Ah, and then uh, oh. there, and that should be everything. And what's in the chest here? Another game, critical chance, level two. Okay, not bad find. But let's just continue our journey. I'm not uh, switching out my games, so I already have. And let's uh, level up our skills. Uh, hmm. How about if we get the uh, hooks or the dealing damage, or maybe. Well, uh, that's uh, doing some damage. Nice. That could be useful. Yeah, definitely. Just here. With the few ores. And then up. Up here. What's over here? Another chest. So I will, I've been thinking of, uh, like I said, going after Lapino, but instead of uh, listening, listening to his uh, his uh, plan this time, uh, we go against. Uh, well, uh, we go with the original plan instead. Wait, where am am I supposed to go? I'm back uh, where I started. Um, how about? Well, let's just uh, follow this road for now. Well, we were here and then up. And this way, I guess. Nope. Okay, I'm uh, lost here. Anything in here? Actually, this uh, looks like a place where we came from uh, in very first. Mm. Very first. Hey, your workbench. Yes. Could try out his new bling. Yeah, well, there's uh, this chest at least. So now, where was I supposed to go from here? Not that way. And I was so down and here this too, but is why heroes are called dashing, Renato thought. See? Dashing? Maybe over Get this it? way. Well we found some ravens at least. No! And treasure chest with some uh, essences inside and a uh, critical uh, chance uh, game uh, on level 3. That's not where we were supposed to go. Hmm. Down here, then. This is where we were last time. I think uh, we were supposed to go up here to somewhere, but... What about now that there is no... Nothing like that. Oh, and this way is block two. Okay. Oh, why didn't I see this one before? This is uh, certainly different than the uh, first time being rescuing a Lapino. So where? Where are we now? Some kind of a cave, but no idea where this will actually lead us. Well, to attack more ravens at least, if nothing else. That 
that's uh, be enough uh, of them for Ravens now. Ravens were landing everywhere. The advance guard. He'd better get moving. If they got to Lupino first, they'd eat him for breakfast. Or Most likely. A snack. Ravens weren't picky. <laughs> if they got hungry, they sometimes forgot to interrogate their prisoners. Even top spies like Lupino. Where had the mad rabbit got to? It was He's time safe. for a little exploration. But, oh, there's a scroll here. Dear Zenobia, how are you enjoying the academy? New friends must already be flocking around you, no doubt. Here in the pal palace, things are the same. I have uh, much time to dedicate to my special hobby. I have been uh, collaborating with Professor Calaveras and his team of experts to investigate the nature of the islands. My gut is uh, telling me that uh, the isla islands are alive. I think uh, they have uh, a will of their own. Do you hear me, daughter? Our world uh, could be more than floating masses of rock and water. Professor Calaveras and his boys have made measurements. The islands are drifting. Surrounded by the endless sky, it is difficult to notice, but uh, through careful measurements of the wind over long periods of time, they are certain that the islands are moving westwards. But where to? It may take uh, centuries, millennia, to reach the destination. I have uh, this strange idea. What if uh, the islands are some sort of herd, and that they are deliberately searching for another herd of islands? Can you imagine new islands with uh, their own inhabitants? The thought uh, that we may not be alone, if only I could live long enough to witness the event. With love, water. Well, uh, I guess uh, that's a small part of the uh, Emperor's motivation uh, there of was going blood mad. On this one. So it hadn't saved its owner. <laughs> well, we got that energy on uh, kill. Game on level 3 2 now. Hello, Ravens! Oh, mistakes were made there. Off you go. And let's uh, change up our sports for now. And hello, Lapino. Dirty and bloody, Renardo finally reached Lapino. The rabbit was practicing his. Like the last time. Renardo recognized the cards. It was Lapino's favorite deck. Oh, I thought you were in danger. I am. The ravens are coming. Oh, the prison thing. Right, yeah, we see this guard owed me 53 ducats. So we made a deal. They're very reasonable people, actually, for weasels. Now. I got a brilliant plan to kidnap Zenobia. We capture Zenobia, we find out what she knows, and that's the whole war right there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Capture Does the it greatest like general, easy. who happened to also be a deadly sorcerer, and oh, his only daughter? Uh, that would be worth it. And it would be nice to see her. <laughs> he always had a soft spot for her. And he felt sure she had one for him. On the other hand, he could still get to the core of the Sky Ripper, even if he couldn't get the whole thing. It must have great power. Yeah. Last time we chose to go after Zenobia, but uh, this time I think we are going to go for uh, this uh, piece of Sky Ripper core piece. The Eye of a Lost God must hold great power. Reynardo and Lapino were back together, but Reynardo still needed the Game Changer to save the Rebellion. Even though Reynardo could no longer get the Skyrippers armature, its core was still within its re within reach. Maybe he could still harness its power with Lapino's help. To make the Skyripper, the Transcendent Emperor had wrapped an armature around the eye of a god. Reynardo had already let that armature slip away to save Lapino's life. But even its core... The eye torn from a god. Surely they could fashion a great weapon from that. The core of the Sky Ripper? Lapino's excited. That's an actual thing that we could just go and get. 
You've been busy. He sure <laughs> had. Renato told him all the things he'd been up to. Soon they got to talking about old times, about wages they'd won and lost, and scrapes they'd barely got out of. It was good to be back with his friend. Renato grinned. He had a very good feeling about this. I miss the Labino Spanter from a first uh, time going through the story. I kind of uh, started to dislike him uh, towards the end uh, when Zenobia it's came. It's beautiful uh, here, but, uh, thought Renato. Overall, I miss that uh, buddy. He missed the mad rabbit. <laughs> Something was not quite right. Get the Sky Ripper call. Of course. And hmm, I could uh, jump uh, straight down, but I don't remember this one here before. So I'm going to do some exploration here first. Yay, more ores. Dead in there, but uh, we got the uh, sword to open this one now. There was a pleasant breeze coming through that door. Had it been closed before? Oh yes, it has. Just uh, going to quickly check these critical chance and hmm. Yeah, going to keep uh, th this attack speed here. Did I? No, I didn't uh, switch it up. And down we go. Another scroll. Dear Zenobia, the director of the academy has told me how much he was impressed by your academic performance and leadership. Somehow I doubt this was a, a session of bootlicking. I have seen plenty of those. That although it is sincere, I am proud of you, my daughter. You will make wine empress one day. On my end, great news. Professor Calaveras has uh, been studying the Nexus and he has made a bold observation. That Toad is a true genius. You know how that Iceland is unique, constantly changing, new crystalline formations appearing, island fragments emerging, splitting, slowly drifting, held together by some invisible threads. Professor Calaveras is uh, convinced those uh, changes are not random, but rather indicative of uh, the living nature of the islands. He has observed that certain senses on Nexus follow, or sometimes precedes, a turbulence on another island. Landslide, wake, flood, the Nexus seems to resonate with those events. Maybe the islands are a, a hive mind and the Nexus is the brain. In any case, I am funding a permanent scientific observatory on the Nexus. It will attract the Empire's greatest minds with Professor Calaveras at the helm. I anticipate a great age of enlightenment for the Empire. With love, water. See, not see, but he seems to be quite sane still there. At the time of writing that, I mean. Oh, yes, I love that uh, glowing, glowing begin there. And switch it up then. So different swords. There we go. And time to continue. Nice big uh, treasure chest. With level 2 shield breaker game. Nice. More ravens. Can I borrow that? Up. Oh, new enemies uh, spawning in. So much happening here. Ooh, that was fun. <laughs> and up we go. So, 
So anything there was in here. something sour in the air, like the earth had ruptured over something that had been fermenting for a very mm. long time. Just like the last time Renato we came over his here. Future self had commissioned these poles. <laughs> Good people, Zippel. We actually don't know yet. Renato felt wrong all over. He could feel an almost palpable sickness in the air. Hmm. And if the land could have tumors, it would look like these monstrous crystals. The forest was quieter than it had been. There were insects, but few birds, if you didn't count the ravens. Renato smelt sick animals and dying ones, but no healthy ones. And getting a bad feeling about this, Renato thought. Maybe Lapina was right. Maybe they should have kidnapped Zenobia instead of coming here. This couldn't be good for global warming. Hmm. I wonder, uh, would we actually poison the lands uh, without that armature? At least it seems to be poison this land here. Oh. Well, that uh, failed miserably. Once again, if I remember correctly. Even more ravens. And the switch up the sword. And switching it uh, once again. And once more. And I got hit by them. No perfect then. Running out of pockets. Not sure what that achievement is about. But we are at the core once again. As he held the radiant icosahedron, Renato felt queasy, like dozens of tiny worms were nibbling his insides. It wasn't healthy to be so close to the eye of a god. How could he use it? He could take it to the observatory. The scientists mm. there could tell him how to harness its ancient power. But honestly, Renato ached to get away from it. He brought the core back with him to the Farfarer. Honestly, Renato ached to be. Yeah, you it. don't look so you well, what? said Lupino. I'll take it to the observatory. You attack the Imperial outpost. Hmm. The Imperial outpost was a vital communications node. Taking it could shatter the Empire's ability to coordinate, and it would be full of secret plans and maps, and maybe even rebel prisoners. It was a good target for a hero like Renato. But what if Lupino got the core and then broke it, or lost it, or worse? Was Renato Maybe. ready to take that risk? Maybe it was better if he brought the core to the scientists himself. Well, last time uh, we... I think uh, we went and uh, straight up assaulted the, those ravens when we got uh, that core piece for, with that armature. But maybe this time we actually go after uh, these toads and ask uh, for information. No, the core was far too important to entrust to Lapino. The core of the Sky Reaper. Even without the armature, there had to be a way to tap uh, its power. The scientists at the Nexus would certainly know how to do that. Could Reynardo re really rely on Lapino to, to bring it to their observatory? No, it was too risky. He would have to carry the core himself, even if doing so would uh, expose him to its unhealthy aura. Yeah, that's uh, what we're going to take. Oh, I almost went over time uh, with this recording. I'll be cutting uh, this episode uh, for now, and uh, we'll uh, continue straight away from uh, bringing that core to Toads uh, on next part. I will see you then. Goodbye.